This is one of the vehicles that he wants, the Mercedes AMG. But I think that he's too big for this one too. It's sweet. But it's small. I don't know which one is smaller, this one or the Jaguar F-Type. Look at it, it's like a peanut. <laughs> this is the one that you're looking for, a daily driver? Supposed to be fast or something? You're all right. Kind of luxury. It looks like something that my dedo will drive. <laughs> dedo is a grandpa, by the way. Now that there is a beauty, that Corvette. It's pretty. I wish I had one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Like when you see them in the videos, they look a lot bigger. They look bigger when it comes to that one there. You get up close and realize how small it is. And then you realize how big you are as well. And you realize how much bigger that that is. Mm. I want to go check out that uh, Jaguar. Uh, the F type? F type. We've seen it from outside. Yeah, I didn't get to walk up to it though. So that, was, that was, I think it was smaller than the Mercedes. I'm wondering the same thing right now. Didn't we see a grill drive one? Yeah, that was a six on Oh, okay. Oh, he found an R8. It's R8. <laughs> it's badass, man. <laughs> I like the color. I really dig the color. This is one of them grays, isn't it? Yeah. It looks kind of white. Look at that. Oh, yeah, this is sweet. They're all sweet. I like this gray one the best. I know. Probably got a little bit more room in it too. But that one, the red one is a convertible like you yeah, want it. Wow, I'm surprised they even got them on the lot. Well. Somebody's driving this beautiful. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe the non-convertibles do have more room. But do you know what? Oh, I like this. Like how over here where you put the fuel in, fuel in. yeah, it's very yeah. You can't see in the camera, but you know what gets me, dude? Though, it's that if you're not a car enthusiast, this is just an Audi. They don't have no clue what it is. No, like I don't. But technically, it's a Lambo. Right. right. But who's gonna know that? Only people that are into cars. That's that's about it. I mean, not the same price. Same price with what? The convertible. This one, the same price. Oh, the convertible. <laughs> I thought you were gonna tell me same price with a Lamborghini. I was about to be like, you gotta be out of your damn Technically mind. They are. It's two hundred and seven thousand. Is it? <laughs> oh yeah, there it is. It's more now, it's like what you get the most bang for your buck. Yeah, no. Oh, that one is used, the 2017. Oh, no, not used. What the fuck am I talking about? It's just older. Older. Yeah. Probably been on the lot. But probably, yeah, probably been on the lot. Well, what surprised me, though, that last year, last year when I was calling and when I was asking, they told me that they're going to text me, and they never did. Not this dealer. Not this. This is a brand new dealer, so it was not the, it was the Farmington Hills one. He never texted me when the R8 arrived. The shows the salespeople around here in Michigan don't give a shit. Well, at least this one has three of them, so. Two of them. What is that over there? TP. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, so it is two of them. See, it shows how much I don't know. So to people like me. <laughs> 
scars mean nothing. I have the Audi, the brand new Audi the, the dealership on the Quinder Rochester Hills. We've seen those R8s. Sexy as hell. But we were having this little conversation like when you're looking for a car, especially an exotic car, what kind of what what appeals to me? And there's more to to it than just like like the Audi R8 is sexy, and because I'm a car guy, and you know my wife even knows the cars. You know what it is. You know what it stands for. You know what it's all about. You know about the performance. But it's basically a luxury Lambo. And to compare the two, if you had the chance to get one or the other, what would you get? In my eyes, I'd, I'd probably end up getting the Lambo because you're buying an icon. Lamborghini's an icon, it's a little like everything, you know what I mean? It's got the sex appeal, it's got the wow factor, it's got this feeling that it gives you when you drive them. I only know this because I've drove a couple of them. <laughs> so, but we need to test drive, so not now we know where to come back to test drive the R8, because they have two brand new ones and actually three three used. Yeah, they have three used, older ones, but with Audi R8, I wouldn't touch an Audi R8 unless it's like, I think, 2015 and newer, because no matter what, you want to do a clutch transmission. You don't want that single clutch shit that lasts you a couple thousand miles and you gotta fucking change it up. I don't care what anybody says, unless you get the manual. And really in Michigan, who wants to struggle with a manual with the traffic that's screwed up here all the time? So that's the same thing that goes for the Lambo. You get a Gallardo, you're getting a single clutch, you know, in 15, 20,000 miles, you're gonna have to swap the clutch on that thing. Or you can get the manual version which will last you a little longer, but at the end of the day, you end up with the same situation. Where with a Huracan, you get the dual clutch, and you got a car that can pretty much last you. You can daily drive the car. I mean, they've built those cars so great now, with, especially with Audi involved now, hence why they have the R8, that, you know, it's, it became a very reliable, unbelievable car. But see, me as a non, non-car person, like I, I like these cars and I get to know them because of you, but I'm not really, a car enthusiast like that. When I look at the R8 and when I look at the Lambo, I seriously hate how the Lambo looks like. I know I'm in the minority, but I fucking hate it. Um, I like the look of the R8. But then... It misses that wow factor. The, the question is, what are you looking for in the car? So if, if I want to buy um, something that is Audi luxury with a Lambo performance if the performance is the important one then just get a fucking Lambo right don't like it, it to me it really reminds me of them women when they buy the fake coach or Louis fake Louis Vuitton purses it, it, <laughs> go get the real fucking thing then like what the fuck or just don't get it or don't get it right exactly so to me it's more like that and um, I uh I don't know. I'm biased. I just really don't like the Lambo personally. I I don't. I'm stuck between three cars. I'm I, I'm seriously stuck. I mean, I'm always gonna be a vet guy. Don't get me wrong, but oh, when it comes to the vet, like every single one, when we've seen the Mercedes AMG and the R8, and I've been in a Lambo as well. It <laughs> there's something about this vet that I don't want to give it up because it has room. It's roomier. It's you can just drive in the car, you can tell it's... I don't have to sit up like this at like 90 fucking degree and break my fucking back either. And it's reliable. It's still bigger than those cars, you know. I can travel for a longer time. It has cup holders. <laughs> the number one rule, man. I, no matter what, I always look to see if they got cup holders. <laughs> so, it's like if you get one of these luxury ones, they're not really for long travel. They're like more for like getting from here to there real quick. Exactly. Yeah, exotics. That's right. Shows you how much I know about cars. Right, I just, now, right now, we're going to go head over. I want to see the Jag F-Type, see what it looks like up close. That one is even smaller. Which I'm wondering if it's even smaller. So We'll see. I'm a bigger guy. I don't fit. We've so. seen it. We've seen it a couple months ago, but we just, we just drove, drove by it. it. Yeah, I didn't bother walking up. Because it was like a freaking... It was tiny. It looked tiny. It looked like a children's toy car. But we pulled up in a big-ass truck, so... Maybe it'll look a little different. We were with the truck, weren't we? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it makes a difference sometimes. Yeah. All right, let's go take a look at it. I'm about to get the keys to the car real quick to see if I can fit in it. Little it F-type Jaguar. Seems a lot smaller than I thought. You know. See him in video on YouTube and shit. It's not the same. <laughs> we'll find out. 
But also, the people that are driving these cars on YouTube on videos are tiny, smaller than you. Sixty pounds. Yeah. I'm, I'm two hundred and sixty pounds. A little different. I need like a truck. Yeah. <laughs> take one for a test drive but I just I don't know if it does it for me to be honest with you. I mean it's good looking they, 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 they are cool as hell and uh, you know the little videos you watch and everything like that but the actual practicality of it I don't know but well I mean, it looked nice though I mean you nice, fit inside there's a couple at least holders I, fit. I actually unbelievably fit in the car it looks comfortable it, it's not as small as it seems from the outside but it's my vet blow, my blow, when it, if I compare that to the vet, it's not touching the vet. It's all. not about the vet. I'm going to tell you right now what it is. <laughs> because it's not, it's not a Lambo. It's missing something. That's what it's missing. It's missing the supercar element. Mm. Mm. We'll see.